Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. Believe it or not, it is not a ring pour this time. <laughs> but next video will be one again. You think I'm joking? I'm really not. <laughs> but the next one is really exciting. So, but before we come to the next video, let's just jump into this video. And it is a resin triptych, as you have chosen on my channel. You know, just recently I got all these new functionality with YouTube and I almost feel like a grown-up YouTuber now. I got this Premiere function, which you, well, which a couple of you have joined already, but time-wise most of you were at work or sleeping, or I don't know. Um, so this is pretty sweet. So this Premiere function is basically a possibility for me to air a video with all of you together so that it goes live, it cannot be forwarded, you have to watch the entire thing and I have the possibility to chat with you along. So there is a chat window on the right side of the video and I can chat and answer questions as long as the video is running. Which is pretty sweet, but as my videos are rather short and crisp and edited, you know, time is not that long. So, but it's really cool and just last week I got the ability on my YouTube as well to make some posts and polls and picture thingies within the YouTube app, which only larger YouTubers can do. So this is pretty sweet and I like it. I hope you interact with me even more by doing these in between little thingies on the YouTube app or YouTube in general. And before I go rambling even more, this was your choice video to be aired <laughs> this weekend. So the resin trip dish, I wanted to try something like that because I just recently got myself a heat gun. Believe it or not, I did not have a heat gun for ever. I did never have one actually. So I thought I will need one to be a grown up resin artist as well. And I ordered one. I have no idea if this is a good one or not. I just bought a one that Amazon recommended me. And here is the first testing out playing around video with it. To top this even more, I wanted to make a well, a resin trip dish because I had three canvases of this size and it's all 30 by 30 centimeter canvases. I painted them black for the contrast against the pigments and I made it myself even harder because I've chosen to not use any white for this. You know how much I love these high contrast artworks? By this time I wanted to stay off white and off black. So the colors that I was going to use for this one is a dark blue pigment a metallic icy pigment, a gold pigment, and that's basically it. Of course, there is some glitter, because everything works better with glitter, especially when it comes to resin. And there is no white, no black. I just wanted to see if I can get a somewhat pretty effect with those colors. And for this project, I'm using the Resonate resin, which is a 15 minute working time resin. This is rather short, but for such an artwork with not so many details, it is perfect because the curing time is just so much shorter than with any other resin that I have used so far and things are not flowing as much. So this was my go-to resin this time. From the design, I wanted it to be somewhat wavy that each of these parts could be sold individually, but fit together as a one piece or a triptych, so to speak. And yeah, this was basically the idea behind and the design that I had in mind. I started pouring the resin. I kept care that the resin layer itself is not too thick to have not everything running over the edges. As these are canvases, the edges are always rounded. Of course, it's just part of the deal. So the resin tends to flow over the edges and once the resin flew over there, it is going to drip quicker and quicker. So if you work on MDF boards, which have a 90 degree angled edge, the resin is not that likely to flow over the edges as it is at a round edge, of course. So I wanted to have my resin layers rather thin and this of course also saves kind of amount of resin. <laughs> as the resin itself is expensive, this was something to keep in mind as well. As I had painted my black underlayer, the pigments are going to shine through really beautifully. If you let the base layer white, you would have needed more pigments to make it really opaque looking. And you might have the white of the canvas look through at some parts. So for my experience, having a dark underlayer, it is always better looking in the end. Unless perhaps you go for a white gold or white silver look, then you can leave it blank of course. So when all the resin was applied, it was time to use the heat gun. And this was kind of a learning curve. 
The heat gun itself made the resin itself very thin and liquid, so everything started to flow a bit more and the resin itself intermixed quite a bit. I thought the heat gun is going to push out more air to have it easier to push the resin out like a hairdryer does for example, but as the hairdryer has too much of the air and too little of the heat, it was quite the opposite. So this was too much of the heat and too little of the air coming out to have the resin move around. So it was a bit tricky at the beginning, but I think I got a feeling for it after a while. And yeah, I achieved the look that you can see here. I tried to have the gold feather over the dark blue just to make it look kind of royal. And for the lighter metallic icy blue, I wanted the gold to look more like, I don't know, beach sand area and dark ocean something. I really don't know. It just was something that I had in mind when I looked at certain areas of these little paintings to, to look differently in, I, I don't know. Make up your own mind what you think. <laughs> And of course, let me know if you think I did a good job, if you think I could have done better, or even if you have some tips for me how to use this heat gun properly. So I wanted to achieve a somewhat more lacing effect than I did on the overall piece. I did have some lacing on the gold dark blue areas, which looks really, really beautiful. And I must say, I really like the entire design. You already might have a guess that blue is my most favorite color and those blues in general. When I came to a point where I thought that the overall design is really cute and I liked it and I enjoyed looking at it, this is normally the point when I stopped playing with it. So I liked the design, I liked how it looked, I liked the different parts and I had a feeling that if I used the heat gun even more it just would get worse and intermix and smudge so I let it be as it was. And as the working time was already over, the resin started curing and getting thicker, so things did not work anymore anyways. So I just let it be and what I normally do, as you know, I put these pinboard pins underneath of the canvases just to allow the drip of paint to drip off the canvases and not to glue everything to the surface. And the same with the resin projects. So when the resin is starting to curing and I can see that nothing is really moving anymore, I normally get myself a, a stick or these wooden paint mixing sticks. I don't know what these are called. Um, yeah, you know what I mean. I just use one of those and go underneath of the canvas just to remove the drops that are gathering on the side of the canvas and going to remove them like this. Because if the resin cures like that and you have these drops hanging from the side of the canvas, it is really a hard time removing them once the resin is really cured. And so it is just easy to remove them while the resin is still kind of liquid, but not really running liquid. So yeah, it's just easy to remove them and you have a cleaner edge in the end and less working intense resin removing time when everything is cured. I had a couple of requests how I do this and what I do with the, the drip off anyways. So this is what I do with it and the drip off itself. So everything that is running down and sitting on my table or the paper on my table, I most of the time do not have really any use for it. So I cannot really use it for jewelry because it's too thick and it does not fit into these cabochons and uh, yeah, I normally just put it away. And most of times it is not even pretty anyways. So I try to avoid resin drip off as much as I can because the resin is an expensive medium. So I try to be as savvy on this as I can. I just love the design and the contrast between the gold and the dark blue is really royal and I just love looking at it. So what do you think? Do you like it? Do you like the design? Do you like the concept in general? And have you played with a heat gun yourself? Tell me your experiences in the comment box below. All the materials that I have used are linked in the video description as usual. And I have put these little babies on my Etsy store as well. So if you're interested in some of my artworks and want to adopt something for yourself or for Christmas, I have a sale running on Etsy until mid of November. So I would be super happy if someone would probably adopt some of their artworks yeah, for themselves. Other than that, if you have any questions, as usual, please leave me in the comment section down below. And my social media is also linked in the video description if you want to get in touch with me.
If you like this video, as usual, you know the deal, give me a thumbs up and even better, subscribe to my channel to not miss out any of my new videos, if you have not done so far. <laughs> if you're a new subscriber, then make sure to head back and have a look at all my other videos, or at least a couple of them, they're pretty sweet videos already there with cute projects. So yeah, enough self-advertising now. <laughs> And as threatened at the beginning of this video, the next video again will be an acrylic ring pour, but a really large one and I really, 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 really like the end result. So this should be a must watch video for everyone. And there is also a small announcement within the video for upcoming projects, which you might want to hear as well. I hope. We will see. Let me know. <laughs> So thank you for your time, thank you for watching, and other than that, I hope to see you in my next videos. <laughs> Have a great day, bye bye!